Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phonebunch and today we are benchmarking the Xiaomi Redmi Note. It comes with an octa-core processor clocked at 1.7 GHz. It's a dual SIM smartphone available for Rs. 899 from Flipkart starting December 2nd. You can see right there, it features a 5.5 inch 720p HD IPS display. You have an octa-core MediaTek chipset MT6592 powering the smartphone with Mali 450 MP4 GPU. 1959 MB of RAM out of 2 GB is available to the system and about 5.4 GB of internal storage is also available which is expandable up to 32 gigs. You have a 13 megapixel primary camera capable of recording 1080p videos and a 5 megapixel front facing camera is also available for great selfies with a wide angle lens. Moreover you have a 3100 mAh battery and you have a plethora of sensors including a compass. So let's start with the benchmarks. The first one we are going to run is Antutu. We are running the full benchmark here. It's been fast forwarded to get to the results quickly. Now you can see right here the scores have lowered up and we got a whopping score of 32,940 which is the highest in this segment. Easily besting out even the Micromax Canvas Nitro which costs far more but features the same chipset. Now we are going to run Nena Mark 2. It's a graphics benchmark. Will give us an FPS score. And you got an excellent score of 61.6 FPS, meaning high-end games should definitely be playable on this device. We'll check that out in our gaming review, which we'll be posting shortly. Next up is Quadrant, full benchmark here as well. We got a Quadrant score of 15.115, which is again class-leading score, higher than the Canvas Nitro, Zenfone 5, Moto G2, as well as the Canvas L. Now we tried several times to run the Velamo HTML5 chapter but we failed each and every time. So we are excluding this test from our benchmarks. But we are going to run the metal chapter of Velamo now. We fast forward this as well. We got a score of 898 which is again an excellent score. Just a bit shy of the Canvas Nitro. Excellent score nevertheless. Linpack single thread test we got a score of 147. In the multi-thread test we got 272. Very close scores with the Canvas Nitro, which uses the same chipset. Now it's multi-touch test time. I have six fingers, all are detected. So let's see. Now this is a 10-point multi-touch display. Great to see at this price point. Overall, I'm truly impressed with the build quality of the phone. Even in terms of performance, I haven't noticed any major lag in this device. Although the UI does become a little bogged down at times, but in general, even with several applications open in the background, the phone continues to perform great. Apps open up quickly. It has good build quality, a very good looking display as well. We'll take an in-depth look at gaming in our gaming review, which will be next up. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share for quick access to videos. Thanks for watching. Any questions about this or any other device, hit us in the comment section. And as always, have a great day.